In this video, we're gonna go through one of the most fundamental Leo building components when it comes to Jetpack Compose, and that is the Column Composable. So everything basically in Jetpack Compose is built from columns or rows. It's rows and columns, all day rows and columns. So in this video, we're gonna be focusing on column, and this is gonna be a very beginner, whoops, beginner friendly example. We're gonna build uh, just a couple really basic layouts and show you how to get started with columns. And then in the video after this one, we're gonna show, we're gonna go through uh, rows. So let's get started. First, we need to plan like what, what do we want this thing to look like? So what do we want this layout to look like? Well, let's uh, first let's do like a heading up here that just says, you know, column, because we know we're gonna be focusing on columns. And then let's build our screen. So what is our screen going to look like? That is our Android screen. So let's, uh, at the top, let's build an, an image. So what we're gonna have is we're gonna have an image of some food. I'm gonna draw a hamburger, look at my amazing artist skills. There's a hamburger sitting on a plate and maybe over here there's some like some french fries happy meal happy meal french fries from mcdonald's wow what what an amazing image that i just draw drew so what what a layout typically like this would look like this is what we, we would call like a detail layout you'd have a picture of an of a of a featured image up at the top and then you might have a title so the title might be like you know a happy meal this is the this is the description of the food that is in the image up above, a Happy Meal. Then down below, you might have like, you know, this is like 800, you know, calories, just some information about that food. And then maybe a price down below. How much does this cost? Well, this costs $5.99. So this is a very simple layout, but it's a very common layout. And this can be done completely using columns and text fields and an image using Compose. So like up at the top here, this part with the, with the featured image, this would be row number one. So this is how you always gotta think of it. Columns contain rows. So this is row number one. And then here, this would be row number two. And then where we have the 800 calories, we would have row number three. And then down here where we have the price, this would be row number four. So that's pretty much what we want our layout to look like. Very simple, very common. This is typically called like a detail screen. So here we are back in Android Studio and I have main activity open. Remember in the previous video, we built this kind of very basic layout. Well, we can delete this. We're gonna get rid of this and we're gonna start looking at kind of columns in detail. And I'm gonna minimize this just to give us some more room. And you know what? I'm even gonna increase the font size. Let's go in here and let's jack up this font size to like 45 so you can very clearly see what is going on. So how are we gonna build our fancy kind of McDonald's layout? Well, first thing we need, the first thing we need is an image. We need that featured image kind of for the top section. So go up to project. I have the project pane selected, but that doesn't matter. Go to uh, resource manager over here on the left, click on the plus icon, and we're gonna import a image, uh, a drawable. So click on import drawables. So what I'm gonna do is import this happy meal small image, and I'm gonna show you where to get that in just a second. So I'm gonna click on that, and then click next down here, and that's going to import that as a drawable into my project. So if you go to project here, now if I go into uh, drawables, there's that happy meal small image that I just imported. So you need to know where to get this. Well, you at the in the previous video, I showed you how to check out my project for version control. So what you're gonna wanna do is either go to Git. So if you open up, uh, just open up an internet browser, and you go to GitHub and you go to my GitHub, there'll be a link down below, by the way, go to the MVVM recipe app. And if you go to the column layouts branch, so just select the, the branch column layouts, and you can go to app, go to source, go to res, drawable, and just download this Happy Meal small image. So just go here, right click, save it. Or you can just open up the uh, project in, from, in Android Studio like I showed you in the previous video and you can get the image from there. Either way, whatever way you choose, you gotta get this image into your project. So get that into your project. Now that we have this image, I can minimize this and we can begin building our layout. So Compose has this very convenient image composable. And you can see there's a bunch of options. It has a, has a painter option, bitmap, bitmap, image vector, 
uh, that's not composed. So these kind of four options here, we're gonna be using a bitmap. So if I click on bitmap here, now I want to load that bitmap image that I have in my drawables. And again, compose has another convenient function that I can load images with. So I can just type the word image, and you can see a bunch of stuff coming out. Image from resource, image resource, load from resource. The one we want is image from resource. And this takes two arguments. You can see there resources is the first argument. In an activity, you can get access to the resources just by calling uh, resources. So I'm gonna do res equals resources. You can get that from the activity. And then I'm gonna do comma, and the second argument is the resource ID. Now this is the ID of the, the drawable. So small. And there is our happy meal image. Now if you wanna just see what that looks like before we do anything else, just run the project. So go up here, click the play button, and let's see what this looks like in, in our Compose app. So there we go, just a simple image with, uh, with the happy meal, with the french fries, we got everything there. And uh, now let's move on and, and spice, spice this up a little bit. Let's make it look like what we drew in our diagram. So if we open up our diagram here, remember we have our image, we have a, like a title, some information, and then a price. So let's make it look a little better. So now that we have our image in here, we need to build the rest of our layout. So first I'm gonna add a column at the top level. And you can, you can see here that in the column constructor, it does take a bunch of arguments. If you hold down control and click on the column, you can see the definition. It takes a modifier, a vertical arrangement, horizontal arrangement, and then the last parameter which gets passed to the lambda is the children inside of the column. So that's that's what this, this uh, lambda is right here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this and paste our image into the content lambda. So this is this is the first child inside of this column. And we're not gonna pass any other arguments to this first column. The first one is just kind of the top level to orient things. So there's our first column and our image inside of our column. Now let me clean this up a little bit just so you can actually see the arguments a little better. I like to orient things this way. So there's like the argument name and then what the argument is and then argument name, what the argument is. I just think this looks a little cleaner as opposed to having it all on like one line like that. I think that's very ugly and very hard to read. So there we go, we've got our image. Now let's add some, some other stuff here. So we have our first column, we have our image at the top of the column. Now I'm gonna put another column inside of the column. So there's the column. And inside of this one, we are gonna pass some, some arguments to the constructor up here. So I'm gonna write modifier, modifier equals modifier. And the first argument for the modifier, or the first setting on the modifier is gonna be padding. I'm gonna add 16 dp of padding to this column. So now you might be wondering why I added 16 dp to this second column, but I didn't add it to this first column. Well, if we take a look at our drawing again, we've got kind of, we've got no padding for the image. The image is got, wants to run right to the edge of the screen, but then the title, the details and the price, this needs padding. This needs to have a little bit of padding before the edge. So that's why we, I've added one column at the top level with no padding. So the image will definitely touch the edge. And then this secondary column down here which is gonna have some padding. So now inside of our secondary column, let's add our next composable. Our next composable is gonna be a text composable. The first argument of a text composable is the text that it contains. So I'm gonna say Happy Meal. The, the kind of title of this is, is Happy Meal. Then I'm gonna do a spacer. So spacer and add a modifier to the spacer. Modifier, modifier dot padding. Now I'm gonna add only padding to the top. I'm gonna to add 10 dp of padding to the top. Now I'm going to create another text text uh, composable, and this text will be 800 calories, so 800 calories. And now I'm gonna copy this kind of text. I'll actually copy both of these. I'll copy the spacer and I will copy the text. I'm gonna paste it down below. Again, 10 dp of spacing to the top. And then this kind of bottom text is going to say 599. So now, um, so these, these composables are gonna be oriented relative to one another in a column uh, or column will orient them vertically to one another. So this text will be above the spacer, the spacer will be above the text, this text will be above the spacer, and so on. So let's run this and take a look and see what this looks like. So there you have it. You have the image up at the top. You have our Happy Meal text kind of right here, secondary. You have our calories, and then you have 599. 
Now, right now we're using a small image. This Happy Meal small is a very small image, but if this image was larger, we would be running into a problem right now. If the image was larger, this image would be occupying way more space than what it's occupying right now. So generally, whenever you have images, you always wanna, you always wanna add some kind of restrictions to them. Like right now, there is no restrictions. So what I'm gonna do is add some restrictions. Now, this isn't gonna do anything. You're not gonna see any change in our project, but if this image was larger, like I said, you would see a big difference because it, it wouldn't look stupid. So you would add a modifier and say, uh, say we want this image to only be 300 DP. And then I want to add some, some, um, some cropping. So I'm going to set a content scale parameter, do content scale dot crop. And you can see there's a, there's various kind of cropping options here, but I'm going to choose the crop option. So if you did that and uh, ran the project, it's going to look exactly the same, like I said, but if the image had had been bigger, that would uh, produce a big change. So there's our image. It's occupying a little bit more space now because I've changed the height. So now our layout looks okay, but we could make this look a little better. Like we could increase the size of this text, increase the size of this text, maybe, maybe increase the size of that or change the color. Basically just kind of spice this up a little bit. So you've seen kind of the kind of generally how to use columns. Now, how do you like change the, the, the styling settings of these particular composables? Also actually, uh, what happens if you rotate? So if I rotate the screen right now, uh, what happens? Well, I can't even scroll this. So I can't see all of the details. I cannot scroll this. So how do we solve that problem and how do we add a little bit of styling? So first let's, uh, let's style our kind of heading, our text heading. So go up to this first text composable and give it a modifier named style. And you can see there uh, when I wrote style, let me write that again. It takes a text style as input. So if I go there, write text style, you know, that's kind of the convenient thing about compose. It tells you kind of what object, typically it's just an object and you need to construct it pretty straightforward. Make sure to always get the Android X compose imports. Now a text style takes a whole bunch of different parameters. You can see there if I highlight control or I hold down control, there's all kinds of parameters that it takes here, all kinds of styling that you can do. I'm going to keep things pretty simple. Again, this is just kind of an introduction. So I'm just going to set the font size and you can see what font size takes too. So if I write that again, font size, you can see it takes a, a text unit object type. So I have to write text unit and open this up. And now what does text unit take? Uh, well, actually we can use uh, we can use a companion object within the text unit class. So I can use uh, text unit dot companion and then do dot SP. And then I can just pass the SP value that I want that text size to be. So if I want this to be 26 SP, which is quite big, I can just pass 26 to that. So now I'm gonna copy this styling uh, attribute and go into the other kind of text composables, paste this one in. This one's gonna be you know, quite a bit smaller. Let's do 17 SP. And then let's go down and do the same thing for the pricing. So writing another comma, pasting that in. And this one can also be, uh, also be 17. Now as another option or another styling option, let's change the color of the bottom, the 599 text. So let's give this an attribute, a color attribute, and then just say, oh, by the way, actually this is a great time to talk about. Uh, Compose has a bunch of kind of built in convenience colors, I guess you could say, and styles. One of them is colors. So you can just write color dot, and then you can see all kind of different options for colors, makes it quite convenient. So green, black, light gray, blah, 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 blah. Or if you want a specific color based on a specific hex code, you can just say color and get that composable color import and then do zero X F F and then whatever the hex code for the color is. The hex code that of the color that I want is gonna be 85 BB65, which is a green color. This right here is the hex code. If you don't know what hex codes are, by the way, let me just quickly show you since this is a beginner course, you could just say like hex color charts or hex color chart picker, just write that in Google and click on the W3 schools link or whatever. And you can click on any of these colors and you know change them and then you can get the hex code over here. So if I wanted a pink color, I would just copy that, go back to Android Studio, whoops, and I would paste it in right there and then that would be a pink color. But I want the green, so I'm getting getting that green color. Okay, let's uh, let's run this and just take a look and see what it looks like. All right, looking a little better, we got our kind of title text, which is much larger. We have our details, 800 calories, and then 599 with that green color. Now, something that I generally like to do with my layouts is I like to make the background color kind of that a really, really light gray color and everything else. That way it makes, uh, you know, whites pop out a lot better. Any sort of subtle changes in color just pop out a lot better. 
So what we can do, oh, actually one more thing too, if I, so if I rotate the screen right now, we still have that, that scrolling issue. So right now I cannot scroll this. There's no way to see the bottom. So we need to solve that problem also. So let's go back to Android Studio and let's solve the scroll the scrolling problem first. This one's gonna be actually relatively easy. So the first kind of parent column up here, I'm gonna change this to a scrollable column and we're gonna pass some parameters to this. So I'm gonna open this up and write modifier and do modifier uh, dot fill max. Well, actually I won't fill the max cause I wanna show you the problem first. Let's set a background color. So I'll do color equals uh, color and I'm gonna do zero, whoops. 0x ff and then do a very very light gray color a very light gray color is f2 uh, f2 f2 that's pretty much the lightest gray color you can do except for f1 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 but we're gonna do f2 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 so let me uh let's run it now and take a look and see what that looks like because i want to show you a, an another problem that we're going to need to solve so that sort of worked it looks like we have a gray color but it's only on the kind of top content the the, the area where there actually is content let's see if we s solve the scrolling problem so if i rotate this yes this is scrollable now so that scrollable column did solve that problem but this gray this gray needs to be extended to the bottom so how can we do that well with uh, compose Whenever you want to extend any composable to the maximum possible, you just add a modifier parameter called fill max height if you want to go to the maximum height or fill max width if you want to go to the maximum width. I think you can also, uh, an equivalent statement to fill max height and fill max width would be fill max size. I think that would do the exact same thing. So let me run that and now let's take a look. And there we go, we get that gray color occupying kind of all of the space at the bottom. So if I rotate this, it looks all good. I can scroll it, the gray color is all good. And there's our kind of very, very basic, very simple beginner kind of composable layout using columns. That's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful, this kind of very beginner, beginner, beginner friendly example with Jetpack Compose and columns, layout building stuff. So if you liked the video, don't forget to like the video. Go down there and click that little, I think it's a, a gray thumbs up, turn that into a blue thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And leave me some kind of engagement. Go down there and say, hey Mitch, here's your engagement. I would very much appreciate that also. In the next video, we're gonna be looking at the column, compo or sorry, the, the row composable. So like I said in the previous video, there's two kind of main composables that you're gonna use over and over and over again, columns and rows, columns and rows, over and over and over. Scrollable columns, scrollable rows. It's all about columns and rows. So in the next video, we're gonna look at the row composable. I'll see you in the next video.